Peaches teaches the show where I teach everybody tuning in each episode how to do just about anything. Peaches teaches all the fucking things that you can do. So today I am really excited because we are making another cultural cuisine dish. This time we are doing a Middle Eastern dish, more specifically a Turkish dish because we are making Turkish delights, lemon, peach, of course. And of course, of course, of course, the original, duh, which is like rose flavored. So I'm really excited to do this. Now, I got a beehive. This is my grandmother's scarf. I got a beehive and a scarf on and some, like a short sleeve dress, <laughs> a, short, a short sleeve dress because it's recommended to get your hair up, to wear short sleeves. Sugar burns are very, very bad and are worse than normal burns and they burn longer than a, av than your average burn or whatever. So I know, like I said, you're not supposed to, I don't know if I said this part, uh, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna say it now. I am wearing earrings, but you shouldn't. It would be best not to wear earrings because, uh, I, I, I read it and it said don't wear earrings or jewelry or dangly fabric or have your hair hanging down and shit. So that's why I did this, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Let's read off. I, my, that, yeah, was so, like, over it. Let's read off what you're going to need for this Peaches Teaches. So, for this Peaches Teaches, you're going to need rose water. Peach flavored hint, cream of tartar, and listen, my dad last night tried being like, it's tartar. It's spelled T-A-R-T-A-R, -T -A -R, not T-A-R-T-E-R, -E so it's tartar. Oh, car. <laughs> Food coloring, Pam, sugar bitch, lots of sugar. Cornstarch, water, and lemon juice. A brush, and this is an 8x8, but you could use a 9x9. Nine nine. Um, an 8x8 eight eight pan lined with tin foil and sprayed with Pam, which I'm gonna do this over the garbage because I don't want my floor to get slippery and fall. Like, I know it'll be fierce, fun to watch, but no. <laughs> I've wanted to try Turkish Delights ever since fucking Lion Witch in the Wardrobe because of all, like, I think Edmund was given one wish and his one wish was for Turkish Delights. I'm like, well, fuck, they must be pretty good if you're abandoned in a snowy forest and all you want is Turkish Delights. I always forget something. Wow, it's right in front of me. You're going to need a thermometer because you need your candy mixture to get up to 240 degrees, okay? And that's the part of this that freaks me out a little bit because uh, I usually just cook shit. I don't like do temperatures and stuff, so it's a little scary, a little scary. But yeah, that's everything that you are going to need for this Peaches Teaches. Then I have to use a glass one too, but I kind of prefer metal because with the metal, you could get more specific of a square or whatever I'm trying to say. And you could put your Pam away because that's all we're gonna need it for. I'm gonna try my best to do this professionally. It's tricky, bitch, okay? It's just me, honey. I am going to try to take little videos every now and again with my phone so you guys can see the top of the pots and what's going on with the situation. Okay, quit stalling, bitch. <laughs> now, I did read somewhere they were made as a token of love and you give them out to your loved ones. So that's really what I want to do with these. And if that's not right, then oops, I guess I just made that up. My bad. My bad. Um, so I literally just spent 15 minutes reading three different stories of skimming. 
call it what it is, bitch, you barely read. I skimmed three stories of where they came from. One was some sort of like war between two chefs. One was like a sultan wanted his mistress to not be mad at him anymore. So he got the chefs to like do a cooking competition, kind of like chops. <laughs> I love chopped honey. Um, so you want to begin by getting, so here's one and a half cups of water. Two teaspoons of lemon juice. You're also gonna need measuring stuff. Two teaspoons of lemon, and this can be a tricky thing. I thought I saw something behind me in the monitor. Um, this could be a tricky thing to pour, okay? So it's so much easier if you just put it on top because this has one of those weird salad dressing. I did a little bit too much. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now this is where it gets a little insane, so if you wanna cut the recipe in half, I don't blame you, sis. You need four cups of sugar. Oh my God. Y'all, it's 2020. Y'all can change the stupid fucking milk bottles, but y'all can't put the sugar and flour in something better. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Two, don't get angry while you cook or you'll forget what you're doing. You wanna get your temperature on immediately. Just on medium. You wanna whisk that until it's well incorporated. I'm nervous. Now this is absolutely a necessity. You wanna get a brush and dip it in water and brush down the sides of the pan because you don't want it to crystallize, okay? You don't want sugar crystals to pour. You wanna get that sugar mixture to a boil. This could take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. It seems like it happens faster for me a lot of the times and you are going to want to monitor it with your thermometer. It needs to reach 240, but once it reaches 220, that's when you're going to start your second stove top pot. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. This is when you get your another pot filled and um, you begin your second thing because you make two things and then you pour the first one into this once it reaches the 240. See where at? We're already at 188. I'm gonna get three cups of water and fill up this pan. But that's all I'm gonna put in it for the moment. So there's two cups of water. There's three cups of water. Something's happening really fast. You turn your heat on your front burner. Place in. You want to place in a cup and one fourth cup of corn starch and your three cups of water and then you want to begin stirring that because this clumps up immediately but you also want to add one teaspoon of cream of tartar. One. <laughs> now you want to continuously stir this, okay? But it's smooth now. She's slowly getting there. This peach just is extremely stressful, BB. Oh my God. So this is what your mixture of cornstarch, cream of tartar, and water will look like. And that is what your candy mixture will look like. You just wanna keep stirring those. And this is a constant stir. So we are about 10 degrees from Kevin Bacon, or whatever the reference is. I'm too nervous to remember right now. Um, but we're 
10 degrees away from combining our two, okay? Can you see this on camera? Yeah, you can see it on camera. I actually really enjoy the smell of this cornstarch and cream tartar and water. I don't know why I like the smell so much. But I have this on low now because I don't want it to burn. Remove your candy mixture from the heat. It is now at 240 degrees. Get your lighter because your house is a little janky. And light your front burner and put it on low. You're done with your thermometer. Now what you want to do is you want to add your candy mixture to your mixture of cornstarch, water, and cream of tartare. Just like that. And be careful and slowly stir this until it is incorporated. Now, Whisking the two together is going to take quite some time. Stop whisking at any point, it's going to burn. I'm going to put that on very, very, very low, the lowest my stove will. I like how well combined this is. So you are going to only stir this every 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes, okay? I know it's like, oh gosh. I would wanna stir it too, sis. But we're not gonna, we're gonna put it on warm and we're gonna check it every eight to 10 minutes. I'm keeping my eye on that motherfucking clock, okay? I'm keeping my eye on that clock like it's that same word but without the L in the middle. <laughs> Are my eyebrows coming out yet, bitch? Go ahead and stir it. If you have to spend all your energy on being a bad bitch like me, it's easy to forget how many times you've stirred your Turkish delights. Well, have I got a great tip, a pinchable moment, if you will, of how you at home, <laughs> of how you at home can keep track of how many times you stirred your Turkish delights. I wrote down here on a piece of paper, six stirs equals 10 in one hour, if that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. And I have marked down just a tally of one because we stirred it once so far. So my Aunt Kimmy, look, it's a, I specifically read, I specifically read not to put on jewelry or stuff, but here I am. Sally Hansen and Glad teamed together and made free pins, and I think this was for Pride Month. Well, my Aunt Kimmy wasn't able to come and see me, but she recently dropped off a pair of shorts that I need to fix for her. So I gave her a barn brack when I did my Halloween cultural cuisine spectacular, and she brought back the baggie with these three beautiful pins in them for me, and I just wanted to wear them this episode because I appreciate them so much. I appreciate her so much for accepting me, you know? I have family members who struggle to, but say they don't. Actions speak louder than words. Um, and she is truly there for me. That is why she is my Aunt Kimmy, and she truly is family. Because if you know your, if you know my mom, you're like, wait, Kimmy and Kimmy. <laughs> she is, she is, she's my aunt, she's family. So figure it out yourself that my mom's name is Kimmy, and my aunt on my mom's side is Kimmy. So. Yeah, I just wanted to wear these as a thank you so much to her. I'm going to wear them out too, whenever. i also thank everybody else who has watched Peaches Teaches this far. Everybody who has liked it and anybody who has shared it and helped me reach more people. I truly do appreciate you and your support. It really means the world for me because I can get discouraged so easily. And I was so happy with the election results. But then two days later, out of nowhere, just anxiety and depression hit me. I don't know why, because I I was feeling a little bit more happy and comfortable, but we still have to take action. This doesn't mean anything's done and fixed. Thank you all for your support so much, because it really does help me keep going and 
it means a lot to me because I do this for fun and I do it for myself, but seeing people be happy and entertained is a huge number one reason as to why I do it as well. It is just, it is just as important as me having fun doing this. You feel me? Thank you. <laughs> and it's two minutes from stirring this again. <sighs> I'm hard with like feelings and stuff, so I'm like, think of something funny, think of something funny, but it's okay if you can be like thankful and like real and honest, you know? Sometimes I get a little too quirky when I'm feeling too real, but yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I bought these earrings with tips and I never even got to wear them because Miss COVID said no. Mm, 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 mm. Time to stir again. Stir, excuse me, stir. You forgot your spoon. <laughs> oh, that one bubbled. Steam went right up in my face. Back up, honey. I'm so hungry. I'm about to just reality show this shit. Have my dad come over in the background watching TV as I fucking eat and do this, honey. Uh, I'm about to get a snack right now. Fuck it. If you don't want me to snack, go down on my Venmo. Tip me and tell me that you don't want me to snack. That kind of makes it seem like I only want to hear criticism if you're giving me a tip. Well, I mean, that's kind of the way it should go if you're going to criticize somebody. But if you have a constructive criticism that isn't like, you're a disgusting abomination, then leave it down below because that's not a constructive Critique is just a hate comment. Uh, you know what's affecting me more than that? Trying to get this beef jerky open. The tiny amount of bang that was on my forehead was too much. I had to tuck it away, so. I cannot wait for you guys to see where I'm going with Peaches Teaches Cultural Cuisine. I do plan on bringing back Peach or Pit. I am trying to rebrand it in some way because I want to do more than just fashion. I'm very much a variety person. So I think Peach or Pit is going to be just me Peach or Pitting anything. Maybe movies, maybe books. I don't know. Um, but I am bringing that back. A Peach of my life is anytime I have an idea for something that isn't a Peaches Teaches or isn't like a decide if it's a good peach or... Uh, Excuse me. Decide if it's a good peach or decide if it's a bad pit. I would love to get another box of Turkish munchies to open up and look through on the channel. So you know how when you watch Peaches Teaches you see the title card and then the card explaining what we're going to be doing for the episode? I always thought about putting the theme song at that beginning point, but I was always afraid that people... <laughs> If the first thing people heard when they opened up, one of my videos was me singing the theme song and then it cutting me saying, welcome back to Peaches Teaches. I'm afraid that people wouldn't watch them. So <laughs> I was thinking if I could do like one really good Peaches Teaches theme song, if I could use the sound bite of that at the beginning of every show, but it would be when you see the title card for Peaches Teaches and then what we're doing for the episode. I don't know if it's called a title card. That's what I thought, that's what I think it's called. Like how when you go on Netflix or Disney or Hulu and it's the picture they choose for you to like see before you go to the episodes of the shows themselves. That's a title card, right? That's what I'm calling it, so. And it's time, it's due to make a new one. So I think I'm gonna make a new one. But um, yeah. Instead of doing the like, boom, ch -ch, boom, ch -ch, boom ch -ch. <laughs> at the beginning, because I keep getting this um, dessert themed doll on my Facebook coming up to me, and they use the same exact music I use for Peaches Teaches, which is like a cool thing because it's like a big ass company that's selling a toy. But um, I kind of want it to be more uniquely me, if that makes sense. But then there are times when I completely want to stop doing the theme song altogether because I think I'm horrible. But that happened. 
Uh, go ahead and stir this again. I just got a whiff of like fried chicken or something. I'm so hungry. Now it is almost a light gooey color, so you do not need that much longer, okay? As you can see, it's very close to being that light golden color, and it is already very gooey. I really want to make three, but I'm like, I don't know. This is a lot of work. <laughs> So go ahead and remove that from the heat, okay? Give it a stir. Now you can add one and a half tablespoons of rose water. Good lord, honey. Oh my god. It's a it's like an odor de parfum. Okay, honey. So you want to get one tablespoon and then half of a tablespoon. I did a little. I did a little extra. Okay, honey. Now what you want to do is you want to get your red food coloring. I'm going to do. Three drops for now. Whoa! <laughs> I'm so excited. It's hot, but look at the color. It is the perfect, like, rosy, pinky, reddish, like, mix. Okay. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Go ahead and put that away. Now comes the scary part because it's heavy. <sighs> Go ahead and get your panned and tinfoil lined pan. You want to put this into your square dish, okay? I don't want to miss doubt fire my titties, but they can really, they can take the temperature. This is dangerous, don't do this. Okay, here it is. Pretty color, hot pan. What you do is you let this sit at room temperature overnight, and I will be back tomorrow to show you all how to finish this because you do need to let it sit overnight um, to be 100% sure. Okay, so I will see you all right now, actually. Yeah. Okay, that was stupid. You're gonna see me now. Duh. What, what did you think this was? Let's do the row. Remember, cornstarch first, then powdered sugar after you cut. Oh! This one is like kind of the most important to me because it's the original flavor. Fucking stunning. Tapping like this doesn't get as much as tapping like this. And this is a great, great alterative, alterative. This is a great thing to have if you can't have jello because it's made out of horse hooves. This is completely vegan. So go ham, sis. I forgot to mention that you need to coat your knife with oil before you cut your Turkish delights or else they will stick and roll and get all messed up and fucked up. Okay, thanks, bye. This row 
this one definitely came out really nicely. You want to re-oil your knife every couple of rows. I think I'm making some of these a little too big, a little, little too big. Uh-oh. I'm trying to make them all the same size, but... I forgot what I looked like. This is from my 20-minute makeup challenge video thing. Since I have to recut the lemon, I decided I'll wear lemon hair as I do it. And I'll do peach hair for the peach. So there was a bunch of construction going on. So I've just been kind of chill doing this, you know? Um, not only because it was election week, not only because it was election week, I decided to take a break, but because I posted so much the week of Halloween because I was behind. I wanted to take a break. Um, also, I took a break because they've been working on the streets outside for weeks now. And they're out there working right now. That's why I've kind of been a little more quiet. Some mornings they've started so early that I've just moved to the couch this past week. Because my living room is way far away from the road. And my bedroom is like 10 to 20 feet. I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Maybe 15 feet. It's closed, bitch, to the road. You can hear cars in some of my YouTube videos. When I give these out to people, maybe I'll write a little note that says, knowing you is truly delightful <laughs> because they're Turkish delight. <laughs> so my knife is oiled again. I got peach hair on because we're moving on to our peach one. The whole hair thing was a last minute decision. So this might not look that fantastic. Once cut and covered with cornstarch, wait 20 minutes, then cover with powdered sugar, and they should be ready. Before, as, and after you cut. Your Turkish delights don't go anywhere near the powdered sugar until you cover them with cornstarch. Okay, here we go. It is time to taste our Turkish delights. I'm so excited. This was a lot of work, honey. A two-day peaches teaches. Oh, um, <laughs> the lemon seemed the most questionable because it was the first batch I made and it came out the darkest and the least amount of Turkish delights. I was gonna say candies, but Turkish delights, candies, I think they are candy. I'm not sure if they're considered like a dessert, but they remind me of gummy. So let's taste them and see if they gummy. And I'm gonna rate them as we go. And look at the colors. Here's the peach. There's the lemon. Peach. And then the rose. And then that. Okay. Here we go. These are good, okay. I don't get much peach. I just went in for the peach, because I guess it's, 
I guess I went for my favorite instead of trying the questionable one. But this does not taste that much like peach. I don't think the peach water that was used was strong enough. But they are delicious nonetheless. Now let me try this lemon. So what I did with these lemon ones was, I cut a lemon in half and I squeezed a lemon over top of them after I tasted these. Then they really tasted more like lemon and they were a 5 out of 5. This one does not taste like lemon that much. <laughs> I've never I've ne that tastes so much like rose it's weird because they're flowers <laughs> it tastes exactly like what you if you smell a fresh rose it tastes like what it smells like wow now these ones are amazing uh, these ones are five out of five peaches. The lemon are four out of four peaches. Oh, four out of five peaches. Wait. <laughs> the rose are five out of five peaches. The lemon are four out of five peaches because there's a little more sweetness there. And the peach didn't really taste like anything, but they're so beautiful. They're a three out of five peaches. When they were first made, they didn't have a flavor. This was a lot of work if you do different flavors if you just do the original flavor it's pretty moderate and easy this was a very fun peaches teaches to try for the very first time and i hope you all enjoyed learned something new and want to come back for another episode i plan on giving these out to people i know and love Thank you all for watching. Bye.